welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us, though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do here in the Backyard Diner. And today, we are bringing an inaugural cook. Brett. Yes, this is the maiden voyage, if you will. <laughs> we are so right. excited to christen this bad boy and get it going. I'm pumped. I am just today seeing this machine for the first time. Adam's had it for a couple of days, and I no longer need to be jealous because here we are. Right, it's pretty. It is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm really excited to see this nonstick surface. Right, we've already got a lot of questions and concerns which we said we would address. We welcome that, especially there's some things, some adjustments we may have to make. Yeah, Brett, I'm super excited for this cook today. As am I, real quick, I wanna point this out. What we have here is the Pit Boss Sierra, which is exclusively sold at Walmart, and we are very excited that Pit Boss uh, wanted us to give it a try. So uh, let's give it a try. Let's right. do it. We are excited. Thank you, Pit Boss, for entrusting us with the Sierra. We're super excited to cook on this and really just highlight and show all that it can do. But as soon as Brett and I knew we were getting the new griddle, we both said, yep, we're doing smash, smash burgers. burgers first. And before that, we're gonna lay bacon, bacon down. Yep. There's gonna be bacon smash burgers. Yeah, and, and, and another thing that's interesting is people actually use bacon as part of their seasoning, but you don't really need it here with the nonstick. So it, we're very interested to get this down and let's get Just get the nice what cook. So all I've really done is wiped and cleaned the surface off quickly for this cook. But Brett, let's get to the groceries. What are we gonna be cooking up on this well, one? Well, the classic that you see in a smash burger, now we don't normally add bacon to most of our smash burgers, but today we are because we're gonna start with the bacon. So we've got this 80-20 beef, about two and a half pounds. About two and a half ounce balls is what we're working <laughs> with here. We're gonna be onions, tomatoes, lettuce, pickles, and then of course, mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard. And we'll be seasoning with just a little bit of salt and pepper, part of our whole process that we do when we do this. So and I'm placing them on these Arnold potato buns. Oh, we love that's these. right. We absolutely we love do. them. Actually, we're gonna probably toast the buns first too. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, because why not, you know? But Brett, let's go ahead and get it. Let's go over to the griddle, and we're gonna turn it on and show you at what temperatures we're gonna be cooking at. Let's go. Okay, so we got the gas on. One thing I wanted to point out that we love is this lift-off feature. If we wanted to, we could lift this right off and put it up on the table. We could go tailgating, take this anywhere. It's just got a quick lock mechanism on both sides. On either side, it just locks up. It unlocks, we can lift it, move it, and take it. So it's great for tailgating, which we're super excited about. I got the gas on, so I'm gonna go ahead, and we, like I said, we're gonna use all three burners. So we're gonna push all three of those on. Ignite that, nice. Now, since we're doing bacon, I'm turning this down to what we consider medium low. So what I mean by that, if this is all the way low, we what call we're that gonna do- We past the hour. Right, so we're coming up about seven, like uh, 35, 35 past the hour, 25 till, or a little bit above that. And that's typically where we start and where we do most of our cooking. It just allows us to control it. It's not too low and it's not too hot for sure. When we do the smash burgers, we'll lift this burner up and probably turn those ones down and then we'll go from there. But Brett, let's go ahead and we're gonna get the bacon going. Here we go. I do also prefer to put my bacon on a cooler oh, that's right. surface because I find that it actually, it doesn't curl as much when we do this. Now, obviously we can't use metal utensils on this. And I think that's a big question that a lot of people have of when or no, whether or not this is gonna be worth it, especially for things like this, where you get a press. Well, the thing is, is we have found a workaround for that. We got a big two foot roll of this silicone for about six bucks on Amazon and I cut this down. So if I'm doing bacon and I just need to make sure it doesn't curl up, I can lay that on there and that press. That is a good workaround. And again, there are gonna be more tools and utensils available for griddle cooking, especially on a surface like this. So uh, I am a bacon, I'm a bacon flipper. Brett is a, a one I'm a and one done, usually, done, but usually. I like to, usually, but I like to turn this. And this is our first cook on this, and look, absolutely no stick. Now, so it literally is right out of the package. We washed it down, and now we're getting this cook on. And this is crazy how quickly that is that is going. Now, one thing I'm really pleased with so far is the nonstick is legit nonstick. I took the spatula and it gave it a little push, if you will, and the bacon just slid all over. So that's gonna be uh, very nice in, uh, in moving forward. Right, and one thing that I would point out though is sometimes even on the inside, the nonstick, I do have to put a little bit of oil or a mm -hmm. little bit of butter. Sure. That just happens naturally. Yes. And also one thing I do wanna mention, we have a lot of people that will say, oh, I've got mine, uh, it's up in storage, I can't use it till it warms up because it's so cold here. Just about every single recipe that or cook that we do out here on the griddle, outdoor griddle, 
can be done on the stove top, whether it's in a pan or you have one of those griddle covers that it goes over your stove. These can be implemented indoors as well. So if you want to look at that is maybe use the winter to practice some of these cooks. And then by the time <laughs> it gets warm outside, you break out your griddle, you can be the king of the backyard. You know, that's funny. Or it, queen of the backyard. Interesting to, interesting to note, almost all of our major cooks that we do a lot of, mm -hmm. uh, I've done, I've duplicated inside. Correct, me too. So I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on these burgs, on the burgers. And now I put a little more on the one side because I don't salt and pepper the other side because that's the side that's going to press down. So that's all the salt and pepper that these burgers are going to get. And it is perfect, amazing, just the perfect amount that you need. Got some mayonnaise on the buns. So we're going to bun or toast these up. And one thing I like to do is I like to to toast both sides, but I'm not going to mayonnaise the outside. <laughs> these toast it up right quick. You can see. There's our clean plate. Love it and love it. Gonna let There's it a plate a for it when you're ready. See, that's what I like right there. Nice little doneness. This is just a baking scraper. Uh, it is rated for 400 plus degrees. So we're gonna be careful. This is gonna get a little bit hotter than that, but just like a scraping tool on a regular griddle, this is what we're, was what we're dealing with. So we're gonna use that. So yeah, we're gonna kind of use this because we obviously uh, don't necessarily need oil per se because of the nonstick, but we're, but using, the we're using the flavor of the baking grease. So I'm gonna just get rid of the, this right here down into the little grease trap. All right, so bread is ready to get the meat down and to lay it, the smash it and down, if you will. Not yet, <laughs> not yet. Here, here. Get some from down in the bottom. And here. So we brought this up. This is medium high heat. So if we are all the way high, right, all the way up to there, we're gonna go just above medium, right to there. We're gonna turn this burner all the way off because it don't need it anymore. And Brett's gonna lay it the smash it down. It's happening. Yes. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Now these uh, have been uh, sitting here maybe about 20 to 30 seconds, which is what you want. And then we're going to smash. And hold that for about 10 seconds. <laughs> that's good. Maybe a little bit too hard, but that's good. That is getting some good separation. Ten. Look at right. that. Wow, those are definitely smashed. Eight, nine, ten. Here, do you need this? Love there it. you go. So not pressing as hard. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, dude. You can already see that cooking through. Now, this is a good smash. But that's a little thin, but see guess what? It works. This is what you're looking for, by the way. You're looking for the juices to come through, and it's already cooking through. So this one we know is ready to flip. And look at that. We got that nice crust on there. Now, we didn't get that, the Maillard, Maillard, the the Maillard, Maillard reaction, reaction for all, them. all the way through. A little bit. Earth all the way across that we like. Uh, two things. One, the surface could have been hotter. And two, I could have held the smash a little longer. But the best part about this Pit Boss Brett yep. is that this hood serves as a basting dome. You got some water. Just a little water on the sides. Get that nice and heated up. Brett. I think we're ready for some B-roll. Let's go ahead and let's build these, let's build some burgers.
Well, there it is in all um, its glory. And Brett's just like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. It does. It smells, does. Listen, we've done these smash burgers so many times. We know what we're getting. And we do, but I'm excited for the way it turned out. Now the first smash, pressing really hard, we find it obviously is gonna fall apart because it doesn't sear and grab, mm -hmm. which is okay. It does, it just takes a little bit longer. So I can't wait to perfect that and teach that method of pre pressing it by the end. Those burgers were perfect. Super satisfied by the A way. little less pressure. As the presser of the burgers, right. very satisfying. Those last ones, he held it a little bit longer and pressed a little bit, not as hard, right? It pressed Yeah, hard. no, absolutely. Once I just got it down to where it stopped, rather than continuing to push yeah, it all, there you go. I just let it, I just, I just basically let the weight of the press do the job. Right. Of and, it's doing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Words. It's good, it's good. But uh, one thing I wanted to show in part of the B-roll was the cleanup process, because that was it. We got a sparkling clean griddle, and the cook is done. The griddle's still hot, Yeah, and, and which cleanups is done. My priority job as the Wall Twins is the griddle cleaner up or after. So and, we've got uh, a new job for Brett. So. No, we don't. That is great. I've earned, I've earned my dues. I've paid my dues. I've earned my keep. Right, I'll keep prepping all the food by myself, though. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. But like we say, it can look amazing. It looks amazing. It does. That's so that, true. That is your quintessential diner greasy burger. Right. This is definitely something we would serve and be proud to serve on yep. the Walt Disney Trek. Uh, like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell ya? Smell ya, you yeah, can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can. Yep. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for naught. Cheers, Ollie, to that, my, my brother. brother. Mm. <laughs> How do we keep doing that? <laughs> oh, do that. my word. Do that. To date, that is the best smash burger we have ever made. To date. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It absolutely is. There's something said, I think. Adam did the two and a half ounce balls. Yeah. They and were I, me I measured them. We which, had the arbo leaf scale, so I did weigh them all. Yes, absolutely. Which, by the way, and loosely packing them, loosely also packing attributed to the holes opening up during the smash, which absolutely amazing. <laughs> it is that super is so juicy. Yeah, that is the juicy. People burger. say you smash all the juices out. No, you don't. It's just uh, just the, keep in mind you want to get the press down. Once you see the juices start to pop up, that's when you want to flip it. It's going to lock it in. So that's what you're so doing. So good. Man. And I got I got to say this too. The thing is, when you're cooking on a new surface, you wonder is it going to react or cook the same. Same as has previously done. Mm -hmm. This cooked just the same. Yep. That's what makes me so excited about it. You wonder, would the armor ceramic coating work just the same? Yep. Absolutely. 100%. We got the same, we got the same results. Satisfaction, it, 10 at, out of 10. Right. Uh, 15 out of 10. In the end, isn't that all that matters? And results is where it's at. And yes. this absolutely delivered. I'm so excited. Yep. We've got so many more cooks coming up on yes, the Sierra and we cannot wait to show them off. Pit Boss, thank you again for entrusting us with this griddle. We got plenty more to show and to show off and to showcase. And, and to show I you. Wait, and I can't <laughs> wait for it. We are so happy we came into this. If you did like this, if this did help you really kind of consider this griddle and wonder if Smash Burgers can be done, give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us and what we do. We really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, without an audience, we'd be the only two watching our videos. So we appreciate you coming to <laughs> I think we have about 10 watch. views is what, with, what <laughs> between the two of us. Lot of, yeah. <laughs> but man, this was so awesome. Oh, Brad, so good. aside from coming to throw down these amazing smash burgers, the inaugural, the maiden voyage in the Wall Twins Backyard Diner on the Pit Boss Sierra, Sierra Griddle. Mm -hmm. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. Feeling in my bones. I can feel it in my face.